Okay, so here comes the latest Nusantara OS V 2.8 and this is actually kind of really good with some interesting kind of features with new kind of UI based on Android version 11. I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 S, it's a mere toll bill. So it can be installed on Redmi Note 9 S, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Poco M2 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, all of these devices are supported. And yes, it's official. So if you are a user of any other device, if you have Nusantara official builds available you can install this build the features are almost same because it's the latest version comes with the latest april security patch for you comes with the latest android version 11 it comes with the reborn kernel if you are a red redmi note 9 pro or you can see me a tool user then this kernel is for you this is nusantara version v2.8 but the thing is the version which i am reviewing right now on my device is actually the unofficial one so the thing is this is why this room i'm gonna shift you my experiences for only this redmi note 9 pro device if you are other device user then you can try out the official builds this is an official build which right now i'm using and i'm going to share with you some things about this build for example the default wallpaper is changed here uh, with icon is kind of same it comes with the google apps pre-installed which means if i have the google apps pre-installed we have all those pixel apps available like for example gmail google google play store and you don't need to install google apps separately for that and the thing which matters a lot for a lot of users for example the safety net status yes it's passing there might be no issues with safety net status and as i previously mentioned to you if you are looking to pass the safety net status if you're getting any kind of errors issues like api issues and device certified device certified related issues i made a dedicated video on that one make sure to check out the channel you will find that video and you can find out you can watch that video to solve all of your issues that might be a very helpful gui guide for you everything else is just kind of same this is Nasantar OS which based on Android version 11 but comes with the ANX camera you can see the MIUI 12.5 MIUI 12 camera basically so yes the MIUI camera is present there if you want to use a custom ROM and don't want to lose the camera related features camera related things you can install out this build because it comes with the MIUI camera for you but yes it also has the option to use a gcam on your device if you are looking to install gcam on your device you can use you can try out the gcam 8.1 because it's based on android version 11 this is aosp the gcam 8.1 should definitely work the default camera is this one i tried and used some features tried to record some video related things and the things were just working perfectly fine haven't read the gcam also but gcam should work definitely fine because it's android version 11 it's aosp and i always use nikita gcam 8.1 one so if you are willing to install gcam on your device you can try out the nikita gcam and that video is also available on my channel so stay tuned and also make sure to check out that video if you are looking to looking to install the build the battery backup seems to be decent enough actually it's showing as this percentage where we have the screen usage since full charge is more than two hours and it's actually good i'm getting eight to nine percent of active drain per hour which is actually not that bad i tried playing pubg also pubg was just working good didn't got any kind of major lags honestly so everything seems to be good till now didn't got any kind of issues honestly as you can see active drainage is 8.93 percent per hour even the idle drain is a little bit too much so it's kind of thing which you need to consider but everything else is just kind of same seen on three hours and 15 15 minutes the gaming performance was even okay okay not bad i haven't tried the 90 fps model by the way no extreme option and everything else the same default setting which i have applied just working perfectly fine the settings has this kind of ui as you already saw so some changes are there if you compare it with the other nusantara os builds there are some new changes some hidden changes and the ui is kind of same nusantara wings where we have some customizations as you already know like themes related things this is a new thing which which you get here in this latest version you can customize the themes a or themes default whichever option you want to choose click on apply you need to turn just close the settings app from here simply reopen your settings app you will see new ui here and as you can see it's now changed like this you can customize a lot of things on your device if you want to this is a good choice and it comes with many kind of customizations for example if you go for the display related options same kind of options present there for you it also comes with the face lock fingerprint app locker right now almost every custom room is coming with the app locker pre-installed so yes it's kind of different but not it's kind of same here 
developer options are present there everything else is same nothing to show you nothing to talk about customizations as expectedly present there lock screen fingerprint some status bar related customizations are also present there volte o wifi both of the icons are present there i don't have uh, this kind of options present on my device because my carrier doesn't support that but the things are just working perfectly fine link for this build is in the description this is all from today's video simply install this build and you're good to go goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air